Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Sky One Driving School. <laughs> Be strong. Be strong.
was in Boston once. First time I wish I had one. Kind of invented it in my head, you know. When somebody ran a red light and said that uh, they had a green light. And it was a total lie. Lied right to the cop. Um, but anyway, you know, and if you do get in an accident, okay, I know what they're saying. Oh, the first thing you should do is change paper. No, the first thing you need to do is you need to snap photos of license plates of cars that saw what happened. You need to get photos uh, because you won't remember them, right? Or write them down. I wrote them down back in the day. But you need to get witnesses. I had somebody rear-end me once in Boston and told the cop that I backed up into him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I always back up at a red light. Um, so I had written down the plate number of the car next to me. And my, my lawyer was like, he couldn't believe that I wrote down the plate number some Chinese lady she goes, oh yeah he he hit him <laughs> that's great so anyway uh, yeah I took the wind out of this sales I like to let them lie let them lie and then after they're done lying then put out the evidence because that's uh, that's just more dramatic um, so anyway um, just little things I'm gonna kind of go through um, just kind of help new drivers the other thing is uh, don't tailgate the cars in front of you um, because sometimes you know like if there's a rock or a brick or some kind of road debris in front of that car you won't have enough time to get out of the way so it's always nice to have a you know a nice clean you're not gonna get there any faster whether you're a foot on the guy's bumper or if you're like you know five cars back but I know sometimes with traffic, people like to pass on the right and they'll, they'll keep trying to, you know, shuffling you back because of it. So, you know, uh, if there's a lot of traffic, you're gonna have to get up close, but if there's any way possible, don't, don't, uh, don't be tailgating. Now here, I don't wanna be anywhere near all these trucks. Um, if those tires blow, they can uh, fly off and, oh my gosh, it, have you ever heard one when they actually not just drop a retread but actually explode I had uh, I was smelling something it was the guy's brakes were locked up they were superheating and I don't know why the guy kept driving but uh, next thing I know it was like boom uh, you know what? I should have saved that on my dash cam video going way down I don't know what happened to this person he kind of fell asleep here at the wheel um, yeah, also watch for people who are on their phone. Okay, when they're on their phone, they tend to drift to the left, to the right. Um, now look at this freaking guy. Watch how fast he's going. I'm gonna videotape him. So I'm going 70. And this guy's got to be doing at least 85. But you know, whatever. The, I got a, no problem with that because he's. It's wide open, right? And it's not like he's weaving in and out. And you know what? That's another thing. You're not a cop. If somebody's speeding, there could be good reason. You don't know if he's pissed off because he just got fired. His girlfriend's cheating on him. Um, he's late to the airport. You know? You know? Somebody's in the hospital. You have no idea. So if somebody like, flashes their lights has their flashers on or whatever just get out of their way don't be a freaking dick right all right here's another thing when you pull up red light don't pull up real close sometimes people are going to be crossing these crosswalks give them a little room and when these lights turn green doesn't mean go it means you look both ways especially if you're in the front line right maybe if it's okay if you're two or three cars back but if you're the first one going through you need to look because sometimes people are you know it's hard to see a red light when you're texting right so you might want to wait a little bit not a long time but give a at least give a little look and see if anybody's coming now I've had it where I look both ways and I didn't see anything and then you know way back there was somebody just flying through the intersection so even when you're halfway through just be alert I just flew through right as the light turned green but yeah we're good um, but just another thing to watch for and as you coming up on intersections and whatnot you kind of want to scope a little bit with your eyes 
just to see if anybody's coming and always watch for pedestrians. Sometimes they're just standing there on the sidewalk and then they go, you know, talking to somebody and they say, okay, and they don't even think and they just jump off the curb and right in front of your car. Um, yeah, might not be your fault, but it doesn't matter. You're going <laughs> to be sued. Um, so, it looks okay here. We're open. The stores are starting to open up here. If you guys are from the Raleigh area and you're want to have a special occasion with your family or your friends by the way see that used to be a uh, Mura that was a great restaurant nice Japanese um, this Mia Francesca that's right in the bottom of this hotel they're not affiliated with the hotel oh and have you guys I don't know, I've been to this Mason's it's pretty good so they got a window broken somebody had to steal a lobster roll um, they're open hmm. Uh, this Mia Francesca is awesome, and I like my wife and I would come here like uh, Saturday or whatever would have lunch right out here on the patio. It was really nice. So I like this place here, North Hills, and um, just a nice place to go. Um, now there's two sides, to, so there's this side, the other side, and then down here and on the other side. We usually just go here. sad about this pennies. It's starting to rain again. Alright, parking, you want you know parallel parking, they're gonna bump your car. Um, unless you get the front or the back, try not to get in the middle. And sometimes you get a lot of space until you know you leave and other cars move in. So let me turn this down. I like if I had a choice here, I would get this last uh, spot. And um, I think somebody did a video where they park way, I, and you're in a parking a lot, you always park away from everybody. Um, unless it's your female, single, night, you know, then don't, don't be parking in the, you know, the backfield, right? Because it could be dangerous. But, um, yeah, somebody did a video where they park way over the other end and they park kind of to two spots. I got nothing against you taking two spots if you're way far away and it's an empty parking lot. But somebody just apparently had some sort of fit that this person would do that and had to, you know, squeeze right up next to them. Um, that's, that's just not right. Um, I generally don't take two spots but there's been times when I have. Um, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, we're okay here. Yeah, there are places that are boarded up. We're just leaving the boards up until this is all over. Yeah, that's sad. Wow. All right, so yeah, here's another interesting spot. Like, so here I'm waiting for the light, waiting for the light, big, huge intersection. So when this light changes, the crosswalk goes green. So you're sitting here and they got all these hedges, right? So you can't really see. So as I turn right here, this happens all the time, people step off the curb right there, right there, boom, as I'm making this turn. Sorry, boom, <laughs> but it could be boom. Right, so you have to be real careful when you when you're making these turns because um, of the crosswalks the crosswalks that are set back that you don't really see them until after you're making your turn because you're looking ahead oncoming traffic you might not be looking far to your right on uh, people walking and if you're one of the people walking across the sidewalk and you got the you know uh, go ahead and walk sign doesn't mean anything you still watch for the cars they might not see you the tip there all right so let's uh let's merge onto the highway here and see how well this is another issue here with uh, merging traffic you got a lot of people that merge onto the highway really slow speeds 
and uh, what that does is uh, people are coming up behind real fast it's uh, it's nearly impossible this is gonna be difficult because what we have here is we've got two lanes coming on and then it merges and then it merges again so each time you merge you slow down your speed right so we'll see what right. happens. sometimes like when people are like get to the point where they're merging onto the highway and you're looking back over your shoulder or whatever that they I don't know for some reason they slam on their brakes so you hit them so just be careful of that so here we're supposed to merge right lane ends now if I put my turn signal on to try to merge these people they, they speed up you put your turn signal on and sometimes they think that's the side that's supposed to pass you on all right so I'm trying to move over again and move over again and sometimes the car in front of you will will do the same thing you're doing these gravel trucks again stay away from them I mean y'all could drive however you want I'm just saying if you got a nice car and you don't want to deal with rock chips and dents and higher insurance rates I'm just telling you what the things that I've experienced over time um, also like when you get in on a highway and this happens a lot in South Carolina two-lane divided oh it's a divided highway you got two lanes right passing lane and slow lane and everybody's impatient because you've got somebody slow in the left lane camping out and you're you get in that left lane and you look and it, they start doing this whole brake lights you know you know when you start seeing brake lights in the left lane there's a there's a freaking problem if you're there and nobody's going anywhere, there's no sense in even staying in the left lane. You might as well just move over to the right lane, give a little space in front of you, and just let the crazy people duke it out and do their thing. Um, keep in mind, though, I do see more wrecks in the right lane than I do in the left lane. I, I don't know why that is, but I've seen a lot of the... I've seen it in both, but I think... Um, People who are in the left lane are more aggressive, and but they're more uh, in tune with what the hell they're doing. People in the right lane, they're, I don't know what they're doing, they're texting, they're Facebooking, they're reading the mail, who the heck knows. But um, yeah, just gotta watch out for the other guy, that's what I'm getting at. So anyway, the media made it look like, you know, this place was destroyed and I didn't see major, I don't know, I couldn't see inside the stores, but a few building stores boarded up which isn't good especially for that place so north hills is like the you know rodeo drive of uh, raleigh it's one of the nicer places and uh to see that messed up it's pretty pretty sad but anyway it's pretty crappy out here i was gonna fly my drone i don't think so now i'm gonna head back home um oh, what's going on over here Stop. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. Oh, and um, aggressive. Uh, what do we call it? The road ragers. Just freaking let them go. Just wave. Sorry. You know, whatever. Just let them go. Get away from them. You don't know. You don't know if they're a gangbanger or whatever. I know sometimes you're just like, well, I'm going to cut him off or I'm going to pass him. Just, it's not worth it, dude. Just forget about it. Anyway, so just trying to keep you guys safe. All right. So. road Ooh. no cops around to do a burnout <laughs> all right so with all this driving have you heard my radar detector make a bunch of noise no you do not want your radar detector to be super chatty if you do you end up becoming complacent and you don't listen to it so I'd rather have less range and turn off um, some of the bands that cause falsing even if occasionally there is a radar on that band I'd rather sacrifice that and just have this thing quiet as the church calls again uh, I showed on my other video this is a, a software called Yavi that did a custom sweep uh, of the bands on my uh, Valentine one so uh, by the way I'm getting a new um, mount that'll hold that radar detector up closer to the mirror. 
I don't like that it's blocking my view. Some states you'll get a ticket for these uh, dice and radar detectors and stuff like that blocking your view. So just any little reason to get somebody to cop to be irritated to pull you over is not a good thing. License plate covers, stuff like that. Just be just be aware. Um, the other thing is, and even a cop told me this, y'all that have those uh, little Christmas trees that you hang from the rearview mirror, cops call those things felony trees. <laughs> they think that you have those air fresheners because you smoke a lot of pot in your car. So um, it's not probable cause to have that, but it's what they call reasonable, reasonable suspicion. So it's just another thing that adds up. So uh, your appearance is gonna play a big part of how people treat you. You know, I used to travel a lot, and it was interesting, because one, one job I had that I traveled a lot, I was a field, field engineer. So I didn't really dress up for that too much, you know. But then when I took a job as a regional manager, I, you know, I'd go out in suits and stuff. And oh man, when I'm at the airport and I'm wearing my suit, it was, it was uh, I got like upgraded for free. I'd just be sitting there and they're like, where are you sitting? <laughs> and she just moved me to first class. She, they like people who are dressed up to be sitting up front. That's just the way it is. Um, so anyway, yeah, how your appearance plays a part of it. And that's kind of a weird thing. I don't really like, with the long hair and everything, I don't know. That was a that was a thing in the past, back in the 70s, 80s. You know, if you had long hair, you get um, singled out. And as you see, the cops they're like almost skinheads now. So I don't know. I'll probably get pulled over now. <laughs> got my pandemic hair. See, here's the one of the trucks. They've got gravel in there. I don't want to be near this thing. Um. Anyway, just uh. Trying to just throw you guys out some little tips here, just so you know. And um, yeah, one ticket will raise your insurance. You get points, raises your insurance, everything just snowballs from there. And if you get a second ticket, uh, maybe the second one, you know, you, you didn't even deserve. But because you had the first one, you know, oh geez. When the cop pulls you over, oh, he's got a history of speeding tickets. Oh, well, good. We'll just write him another one to his collection. Versus somebody who's got a clean driving record, um, they're less likely to write you a ticket. So that's another thing. I got a ticket from this, um, this, this intersection right here. I came out of this gas station, um, and I pulled out right here at this last spot right there pulled out and I was going really really slow I was going so slow that the light changed to red while I was going through the intersection because it shows your speed I think my speed was like 12 miles an hour or something so I got a ticket for that I don't think they have the camera system here anymore but the yellow light wasn't very long so what happened is I went through on the yellow but I was going so slow that the light turned red right before I crossed the line and I got, got a ticket. <laughs> Go figure. I, it was like no points. It was 50 bucks. My time wasn't worth me going to contest the thing. So I just said, yeah, whatever. Paid it. But that's how a lot of these tickets work. You're out of state. You get pulled, you know, pulled over. You go, oh, I'm going to contest this ticket. But she's, what are you going to do? You're going to drive back to that state and contest it? So, yeah, it is what it is. And if you are speeding and you get pulled over, just, hey, man, you caught me. Ah, you know how fast you were going? Ah, warp factor six, I think. I don't know. I, was, I don't know how fast I was going, officer, but I tell you, I was hauling ass. <laughs> they appreciate your honesty. They know. They just want to see if you're honest with them. Because if you, if you lie and say, oh, I was not speeding, they're going to be a dick to you. All right, so that's that. Trump. Yes, this is a speed sign. There's a speed sign there, and I have my radar detector to ignore those, so it won't even uh, it won't even beep. Otherwise, it, uh, otherwise it'd be beeping. See how fast, see how accurate it is. I'm gonna go. Let's see, 45. I'm going almost 50. Instead of going 50. See those things? Did you see how it like uh, jumped to 55? 
then it said to 34. Um, the radar can bounce back and forth between cars. I've seen it go uh, with a car coming the other way, show 70 miles an hour when nobody was going 70 miles an hour. Uh, so radars can go a little crazy. Sometimes when the cops run radar, they're listening to the audio and they can tell the interference and they know to ignore it, but sometimes they don't know. Like, you saw it, I was going real slow and it went up to 55. So, yeah, I could have gotten pulled over. Yeah, you were going 55. I'm like, dude, I was going 45 here. But um, this is the way the radar works when there's other cars around. So when somebody is speeding and you're next to them or behind them or in front of them, you, you know, sometimes they get the wrong guy. So that's why, like, the first ticket doesn't really make a big deal. But if you've got a lot of tickets, then nobody's going to believe you on that one. I got to mention another place that the cops like to hang out at is just over a hill. So they know that a lot of people have radar detectors and whatever. So be careful as you go up over the rise of a hill. Um, and they know that people signal. So sometimes they hide somewhere when they... Uh, when they're running the radar, they try to hide in like a little driveway or side street or something. Anyway, so that's about all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Drive safe. Later.